What's up, everybody? And thank you so, so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So as you probably already read in the title description or the thumbnail of today's video, we're going to be doing an outfit challenge. But this time around, it's of the celebrity dress like variety. The concept of this series is to acquire the celebrity look at a fraction of the price because when it comes down to it, spending all this money on designer things is just not practical. Furthermore, I just think it'll be a lot more fun to try to acquire this look at a fraction of the price by accessible means. And what I mean by that is just going to the mall or just going online and having this stuff readily available. If you guys like the content of the series, make sure you hit the thumbs up button as it lets me know to keep the series going. And also feel free to comment down below people you'd like to see me do. The celebrities with a lot of votes down there or like that's mentioned time and time again will definitely get a video. Last thing, I have to give credit where it's due. Shout out to my good friend Harrison Neville. I know that he used to do these types of videos back in the day. I will have a link to his channel down below, so be sure to check it out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and head to the mall and see if we can acquire the Ian Connor look. The objective of today's video is to try to execute a look that looks just like Ian Connor's look. Now, here's the thing, Ian Connor's style is very, very unique, and I figured that this was gonna be a very challenging video to do. So comment down below what you think of the entirety of the outfit once it's all said and done. And also, if you guys have any suggestions for people you'd like to see, definitely comment that below as well because I'm always open to suggestions. So we're out here in front of Forever 21 because they have a ton of selection. This is very, very fast fashion. So they're able to put out a lot of really trendy things which might work to our advantage, not to mention the prices are very, very low. As always, guys, whatever I find, I will link in the description below. So let's go ahead and see what they have inside. Let's go. So one of my favorite things about Forever 21 is the great pricing. I just found this outerwear piece. It's really nice, got nylon inside. Uh, feels like it's filled with cotton, which is really nice because it'll keep you warm. I know it kind of goes with my outfit too a little bit. You can kind of see at the breads today minimal cargoes and the batting shirt and I might just get this for personal but I'm gonna hold on to this because I feel like this is something he would wear I feel like he would wear this too I don't know like I feel like you totally wear that so I don't know would he wear this I personally wouldn't I feel like it's way too warm to be wearing this type of stuff out here also kind of look like Winnie the Pooh which uh, it's not the look we're going for gosh I didn't realize how big the men's section was at Forever 21. Like the, this whole half of the store is all men's stuff now. This is pretty clean. I feel like this is a little bit too basic though. And it also looks a lot like this. So let's say no to that for now. Plus that one is 60 bucks, whereas this one is around 30. So that's not too, too bad. So he wears a lot of pattern stuff, like just different colors and stuff like that. Really unique things, generally real vintage. So today we're definitely gonna be going for like a layered type of look kind of age type of look as well. This is definitely challenging because I dress nothing like Ian Connor on the regular, but hopefully due to the fact that there's a ton of stores at this mall, we can execute this look. I think I found exactly what we we're looking for. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, Ian Connor wore something just like this piece here, a hooded flannel, and it has a zipper closure up front. Man, this thing is so, so sick. The inside is uh, like a faux Sherpa and on the arms, it is nylon, which actually works to our benefit because it's pretty hot in Orange County for the most part. It never really falls below like 60, so it seldom does at least. But yeah, this thing is super, super clean. I like it a lot. Now we find ourselves in a bit of dilemma. I know he's known for wearing a lot of flannels and stuff like that, like zipper flannel specifically. I like this piece a lot, like even for personal. And we have this one as well, which I feel like is a bit more accurate because I do recall he wore a rude piece that looks very, very similar to this. They're both priced at just below $40. Not a bad look at all. Link will be in the description below for both of these items. All right, guys, so successful trip to Forever 21. Such a good place to buy flannels. I didn't realize how much they actually had for men at this store. I'm definitely gonna come back, dude. It's crazy and the prices are just insane. Anyways, let's go ahead and go on to the next store. I think we pretty much got exactly what we needed from Forever 21. 
So hopefully the rest of the stores goes just like that. Okay guys, so next up we're gonna be heading into H&M. Now, full transparency, I generally never find anything at this H&M just because it's really small, but since we're here anyways, they might have something to offer. It is a holiday season, so potentially they might have a lot of stock. So let's go ahead and see what they have here. Already, I can already tell you guys, this is gonna be a total swing and miss. Like, I just don't feel like Ian Connor would ever be caught dead in anything from this store. Like, even what it looks like, you know what I'm saying? But let's see what we could do. Oh, he, Ian Connor would wear a denim jacket. Oh, it's an additional 70% off. These denim jackets are pretty clean. I feel like he would wear this just because it's like distressed and stuff like that. And it looks aged. It has a very like 90s sand wash up front. I don't know, this, this could, this might do. I think we might have a potential candidate for today's outfit. I know he loves to wear cargo pants. I feel like he's been wearing cargo a ton lately. Ah, uh, every time I see these, so nostalgic, the good old fog days. I know I said this in the last H&M uh, outfit challenge video, but man, how clutch were these back in the day when you couldn't afford Fear God Fourth? or you just couldn't find it. Just head over to H&M, get these for 20 bucks. Insane, insane steal. I know also for a second people were reselling them. And I saw people in the comment section say that they actually paid resell for those. They paid like a hundred bucks, which is nuts. Now they're just sitting here at H&M. Man, how time flies. Just nothing for today's outfit. I think we're gonna go to one last place, which is PacSun. They have a ton of good stuff over there. and. Hopefully we can find something good. I feel like this outfit has been somewhat successful to some degree, apart from that slight mishap back at H&M. But I feel like, yeah, Paxson should be able to top us off right. All right, guys, so due to unforeseen circumstances, we have to leave the mall now. Not because we're getting kicked out or anything, but because Paxson actually won't let me film in store. In fact, the manager said I couldn't shop there, which is crazy. I don't know what's going on with that, but not to fret because I think we have enough things to make this outfit work out. I do recall a pair of minimal pants that will probably work perfectly for this outfit. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and head over to the house and see if I can recreate this outfit. Okay, so jumping into the first piece of the outfit, I actually bought this independent of today's video. I bought it on eBay for about $8. It just simultaneously showed up today. So super lucky to be able to use this. Next up for the bottoms, this was actually supposed to be a part of my next minimal haul, but I figured that these will work perfect for today's outfit, so I'll just use them today. Um, I did go for a size small in the classic cargo pants, uh, canvas, super, super nice quality. I have to say guys, I am a huge fan of the way Minimal's cargos fit. Now, everybody loves snap cargos and they are amazing in their own right, but the classic cargos, they are A1, amazing quality, they fit very, very well. I cannot emphasize that enough, so I had to get them in camo. Okay, so on to the last piece and my favorite purchase of the day. Honestly guys, I probably would have bought this despite this video. It's just so, so sick and for the price point, it's definitely not bad at all. Um, you guys might have been able to guess what it is because I did like really, really like it in the store. But here it is. Um, for $39.99, I purchased this flannel shacket. You guys know I love these things. Honestly, everything about this shacket has left me pleasantly surprised. The quality, the build, uh, the construction, just everything about it. I really, really love this thing. And it's from Forever 21, which I can't say I've said a lot. Um, as you can see here, it does have a very smooth, nice zipper. Inside, it has Sherpa, or what feels like Sherpa. Uh, inside the arms, it is nylon quilt. Um, I really do like this thing a lot. Obviously, the pattern is super, super sick. Okay, so that is the entirety of the outfit. I think this all costs under $100, which isn't bad at all when you take into account that Ian Connor's rendition of this outfit was probably north of a thousand bucks. Is this a legitimate alternative to Ian Connor's outfit? I don't know, that's up for you to decide. All right, 
right guys, so that is gonna do it for today's outfit challenge. Make sure to comment down below who you'd like to see next. Leave a like if you do like the idea of this series. And lastly, rank this outfit in terms of accuracy. Full transparency, I will probably never, ever, ever think to wear this culmination altogether. I've just never been a proponent for mixing different patterns, if you will. Uh, just a little loud for me, but certain people can definitely pull it off. I just happen not to be one of them. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. As always, it is a major privilege of mine to get to make these videos for you, so thank you you guys for the support and always coming back to the channel it really means a lot and as an every video here at locust wild honey i'm gonna say peace and be blessed